guys, and welcome back. This is Black Shirt Tim here, along with Rock and John, or you guys, 785, or Icy Guardian. Too many names. Uh, I normally just call him Grant. People call me Timmy. Derp, derp, derp. Anyways, today, since it is Saturday, football is going on right now. And since we live in Nebraska, our football game is the Nebraska Cornhuskers versus the Oregon Ducks. With the new Rumble update that came out, you can now customize teams in exhibition and private matches. And I was sitting there thinking, hey, why don't we do predictions? So that's pretty much what we're going to do. Manfield, in my opinion, is the closest we have to Memorial Stadium out here in Nebraska, since it is a home game. And we're just gonna have four bots, 4v4 all-star bots me and Grant aren't going to be interfering, we're just going to be spectating. We're going to be commentating just like you would at a football game. Now we changed it to 10 minutes because, well, 5 minutes in the EA Sport games, it would be 5 minute long quarters and there isn't a 15 minute option. And now we can actually record up to an hour worth of footage. Yeah, they added that in the recent update. You can now record for 60 minutes in one recording. So I can no longer have to split it into and pretty much we're just gonna be doing a normal game. And here are the teams. Oregon Ducks versus the Nebraska Cornhuskers. I could not pick Cornhuskers on here, so I just went with Huskers. And besides, that's basically what it says in the end zone, Nebraska Huskers. Anyways, let's stop with the wait. Let's get right into it. You haven't said a word. There's one. <laughs> Just standard commentary. Alright. Oregon Ducks are the green team. Nebraska is the red team, as they should be. <clears throat> and we're just doing an auto cam. Alright. And it's off. And the... Ooh. Iceman gets the first touch. It rolled up the wall. Ooh, Marley pops it up. Rex follows up with it. Squall tries to block it, but manages to get by it. Squall pops it right back over. And it is up in the air. P Imp just pushes Marley out of the way. Poncho shoots for the goal. Iceman almost finished it off. Rex with the save. Squall tries pushing it back towards, but it is blocked and denied. Marley goes ahead and pushes it back. Iceman, doing, I don't know what he's doing anymore. And driving up the wall. Imp tries popping it towards the middle. Kind of a bad decision where they're at. Manages to push it out though. Ooh. Oh, you don't have the secondary like yellow color in the stands. Never noticed that until now. So all you're gonna see is red and white and green and white. Oh, someone block it. Ooh, off the post. So this game is gonna decide what the. This is basically prediction. Marley scores. Prediction of what the game, like the Oscars game is gonna be. Yeah, the football game. Okay. One minute and five seconds. That's how long it took to score so, the goal, and 30 miles per hour. So probably in the game. So like prediction would be Oregon's gonna score touchdown first. Uh, in our case, hopefully not, but we'll see. <laughs> Imp with the first touch, and whichever touch that was. Squall pops it up. It's going towards the goal, and it's in. Ooh. Imp with the assist. It took them 13 seconds, 37 miles per hour. Ooh, that was a nice hit. <laughs> they ran into each other trying to stop it. Can we hope for that during the game? Yeah. The two Oregon players just run into each other <sighs> in the middle of the match. Poncho with the first hit. Ooh, it's going to Oregon's left side of the field. Imp jumps, hits it. He's trying to pop it towards the center. Centered ball by Poncho. It is coming down right in front of the goal, but Marley manages to clear it. Imp pushes it towards the right hand side of the arena. Bounces it off the wall. Poncho tries to finish it, but is not able to get the right angle. Squall swings and misses. Junker is able to push it back. Poncho just kind of puts it up on the wall. Everyone jumps for that. Junker is putting it towards the goal, and it's in. Dude with the assist. 43 seconds, 34 miles per hour. Hmm. That could have been saved by Squall if only he hit the brakes and stopped going forwards. Yo, don't be afraid to get in. 
Poncho with the first hit. I'm missing the shoot. Ooh, Squall pushes it towards the goal. Dude pops it up. And is still up in the air after the two collide. Still up in the air after Imp and Rex collide. Is Rex going to put it in? Ooh, Imp blocks it. Oh, Marley with the kill. Ooh, Squall pushes it towards Oregon's left side of the field. Ooh, it's going downtown. Is Marley going to try putting it in? He's going to try it, and Squall just simply blocked it. Rex centers the ball for his teammates. Ooh, dude almost put it in, but Pacho was able to block it. Marley and Duke collide. Marley puts it into Nebraska's right side. Marley centers it for his teammates, but is anyone going to stop it? Nope. Dude in for the goal, and Marley for the center. One minute, seven seconds, 53 miles per hour. Imp is driving up and down the walls. Well, I think Squall just sat there. That is very unique. So unique indeed. Squall with the first touch. Iceman's chasing after the ball. He stops. Manages to kind of bump it. Poncho misses, but Junker managed to get the secondary hit. And they put it right on in. Junker for the goal. This is uh, pretty bad for Nebraska. Yeah, 18 seconds, 56 miles per hour. We had to do a secondary prediction because last time it didn't register the microphone very well. You could barely hear the commentary. It ended up being 7-3 Oregon win. Iceman with the first touch. Ooh, Imp charged after it, but he's not going to be able to get a proper hit. Poncho could have saved it, and he didn't. And dude scores after he centered it for his teammates, but ended up scoring himself. 15 seconds, 17 miles per hour. Just a tiny little jump. <laughs> Rex bumps Poncho into the goal. All right, five to one, six minutes, 57 seconds left. Amp gets the first touch. Iceman could have had the next, but did not manage to get it. Did Oregon score again? Yep. Oh, get it in! Get it in, people! Get it in! Get it! Yay! Squall for the goal with Poncho on the assist. That was Master Player 26, the person who is going to design the thumbnail for this. So if you see that, now you know who did the artwork. Although all he's doing is taking a couple photos and putting them on top of each other. And doing a couple fonts. Alright, Poncho with the first hit. It is 6 to 2, 5 minutes and 48 seconds left. Squall puts it up around the wall. Marley wanted to go for it, but bots don't know how to go up the walls. Squall puts it in the corner, centers it for his teammates. Oh, tried taking a shot, but Rex blocks it. And dude goes ahead and puts it right back in his teammates' area. And puts it in the center of the arena. Marley takes a shot, and it's in. And that is a hat trick for Marley. 7-2 mm -hmm. with 5 minutes and 27 seconds left. This is what it looked like last match. Not looking great for your, uh, Nebraska. Yeah. 30 seconds, 52 miles per hour. Squall with the number, with the first touch, almost said number one hit. 
Junker took a shot, Iceman able to block it. Rex goes ahead, puts it in the center for his teammates. No one is there to follow it up. Iceman goes ahead and takes it back to their court. Ooh, it's going up to the right side of Oregon's court. Well, field. Court, field. Dude goes ahead and is trying to ride it towards around the right side of the field. Ooh, they pop it up. It's now in the center of the arena. Dude pops it up in the center, and he scores. And that is a hat trick for Dude, and a assist with Marley. 38 seconds and 38 miles per hour. Poncho tried knocking it away, but Dude was able to beat it to him. Well, secondary hit. All right. Iceman with the first touch, and it's going towards goal. And it's in! Long goal, hat trick, and Iceman with the assist. 11 seconds and 27 miles per hour. <laughs> Just sat there and watched it happen. Imp with the first touch. It seems like Nebraska's always getting first touch, but never gets the follow up on the goal. Pancho pops it up for his teammates, and he goes ahead and follows it up himself. Puts it in the right corner of Oregon's field. Ice Man going ahead and popping it towards the center. Doesn't exactly get the touch he wants. Ooh, Skull centers it. Imp tries to push it in for the goal, but it is blocked. Squall and Ice Man go on ahead and pushing it back towards Oregon's goal. Junker goes ahead and pushes it away towards the left side of Nebraska's field. Oh, this is dangerous, this is dangerous. And that is an own goal, people. Safety! Rex with the assist, Junker with the score. 43 seconds, 34 miles per hour. You can't be making those kind of mistakes. Especially pushing your own teammate out of the way. Four minutes and 14 seconds left. It's nine to three. Ooh, dude gets the first touch. Finally, Oregon gets it. And, ooh, Rex shot for the goal, but Squall was able to block it. Goes ahead and pushes it and passes it towards the Iceman, but it's quickly denied. <laughs> Rex goes ahead and pushes in for the shot, but dude is there to block his teammate. Imp tries pushing it away. Poncho gets a kill against Junker. Squall pushing it towards the left side of Oregon's field. Running up the wall, going around. Lands on Marley, Squall is able to go ahead and push it forward. And Poncho gets it in for the score with Squall for the assist. 39 seconds, 44 miles per hour. It just bumps into Marley and helps him pop it up. There it is. All right, let's see how this goes. Dude with the first touch. Squall goes ahead and pops it and actually passes it towards Poncho. He's able to put the wall and ride it along the wall. And he actually gets the score, but Squall gets the pool shot for it. Squall went ahead and pushed the opposing player, Junker, into the ball. 18 seconds, 57 miles per hour. Thanks to that simple little hit. Junker with the first touch. It is up in the air. No one's going to touch it until it hits the ground. Or Imp will go ahead and jump for it. Iceman tries pushing it in for the goal, but is easily denied. Imp is going to jump for it. Doesn't get it. All the way back in Nebraska's side of the field. Ooh, Marley took a shot, but is easily denied. Poncho goes ahead and pushes it towards the right side of Oregon's field. Bouncing it off the wall. He's going to see if he can. Nope, he missed it. Iceman tries pushing it in and blocks Junker's attempt at it. Squall takes a shot and it's in. Iceman with the assist. It is 9 to 6 with 2 minutes and 54 seconds left. 41 seconds for the goal. 50 miles per hour. And he apparently faced through halfway in the field. Alright, what's going to happen here? Iceman with the first touch. Bounces off the right side of Oregon's field and all the way back to the left side of the field. Ooh, Junker had an easy opportunity to go ahead and put it in. Oh, Marley took a shot, but Squall blocks it. Pancho pops it over and is able to hit it. Junker takes it around. Iceman puts it right back to Oregon's side of the field. Dude tries to swerve it around the field. Marley stops it. 
sets it up for Rex to take a shot. Squall swerving it around, but as of now, oh, dangerous game. Dangerous game. Ooh, Squall goes ahead and clears the ball. Rex is taking it around. Iceman goes ahead and pushes it around the corner, right it off the walls. Dude hits the brakes and stops it. Imp goes ahead and takes a shot. It is in the center, but it is up above the goal. Squall takes a shot, and it's in! Assist by Imp. <clears throat> Such a close game. Imp with the assist, 56 seconds, 17 miles per hour. All right. Marley with the first touch. It goes straight up and straight back down. Marley gets the next touch. Poncho and Junker pinch it up and it hits the ceiling. Squall tries to go ahead and knock it away, but it gets blocked. Marley takes a shot, but it is blocked. Squall pushes it towards the center of the arena. Ooh, dude gets knocked by his own teammate and puts it into the corner. Squall takes a shot. Oh, Marley blocks it. Is it going to be in? It's still in the center. Imp takes a shot. Oh, off the top crossbar. Poncho takes a shot way overboard. Goodness gracious, he was going for a field goal right there. There's nothing there, though. Squall tries pushing it in, Marley blocks it, Imp tries pushing it in, and yes. completely whipped it and put it in the right corner. Imp tries centering it, he takes a shot, and it's in! 9 to 8, it's 1 minute, 16 it. seconds left, 54 seconds for the goal, 34 miles per hour. He was so close, and so uh, unpredictable. Yeah, I mean, the first 5 minutes of it, it was a disaster for Nebraska. Alright, let's see what happens next. Poncho at the first hit, bounces off the right side of Oregon's field. Ooh, Iceman almost followed it up. Bounces off the wall, takes a different type of bounce and pops it up. Everyone went for it, so it is up in the air. Duke hit, gets the first hit off the floor. Squall's taking it around. Marley goes ahead and messes up his rhythm and pushes it towards the corner. Amp tries pushing it away. Squall jumps for it, completely misses. It is up in the air, almost hits the ceiling. Poncho gets the first touch for it. Squall's going to follow it up. Oh, dude blocks the shot, though. Ooh, Imp puts it in the corner. It is up in the air. Hits the ceiling. Bounces. Comes back down. Poncho and Imp kind of pinch it. Poncho is able to clear it after Marley tries to center it. Ooh, dude went ahead and took a shot. Iceman was able to get the save. Dude takes another shot. It's bouncing off the top right, top left of the goal. Is anyone going to be able to knock it out? Squall is able to get the savior for it. Junker takes a shot. Poncho with the save. Poncho still following up. Oh, it could be going in. It could be going in. And it's in. Hat trick for Poncho. Nine seconds left. We are all tied up with nine points. A minute and 13 seconds left for the goal. 35 miles per hour. We could be going on to overtime, people. This is much better than what it was last time. <laughs> Poncho gets first touch. It bounces off the left side of Oregon's court. Iceman with the first touch. Bounces up off the wall. It is in midair. Poncho could finish it off. And, oh, oh, oh. and he doesn't. <laughs> it hits the floor. You thought he scored. Squall gets first touch. Bounces off the wall. But dude is right there. And oh, off the crossbars. Iceman's trying to follow it up. Ooh, Rex puts it around the corner into the right corner of the field for Nebraska. Rex tries centering it for his teammates. Pushes it towards the center. Marley could have finished it. Squall is able to get it out of there. Junker puts it up on the wall. Iceman follows it up, trying to push it towards the center. He tries shooting in, but doesn't get it. Bounces off the left side of the wall for Oregon. Oh, it's going down in the center. It's going down in the center. Oh, and it's blocked by Imp. An amazing save. Dude gets first touch. Squall pushes it down the center. It's going to bounce off the left side of the goal for Morgan. Mm -hmm. It is still centered. Poncho takes a shot. It does not go through. Imp tries centering it for his teammates. Iceman centers it. It is wide open. Poncho takes a shot. Yes! 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 The wins! <laughs> Iceman gets the uh, playmaker. One minute, 14 seconds, 18 miles per hour. And Junker tried blocking it, and he puts it in his own net. 53 seconds into overtime, and we have the winner. Nebraska. What an exhilarating game by Nebraska. <laughs> 10 to 9. Wow, Squall was definitely the I was nail-biting, finger-blowing off. Exciting, exhilarating game. That was close.
this is this is what people are saying. That's how the game's gonna be like. It's gonna start out not too good for Nebraska, but we're consistent. We'll be able to keep pulling through, and eventually we'll probably win by three points. What? We hear you, fans. We do want more. Next week, though. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as of from now on, I will be trying to do predictions for every football game and when basketball starts up in November for Nebraska. I'll be doing predictions for those, too. And every week, we're going to go through and do a record. So far, this is the first prediction. We'll see what we can get. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.